Hello and welcome, my name is Easy, and this is The Darkest Dungeon. And now week 54, and now Papon is missing again because she has went on a personal vision quest. These people with their personal quests and... Is my... Oh, Ashul is back. So, yeah, these three have come back from the Centarium, has returned from unknown pleasure houses. Wow. So you paid them an extra coin because you didn't want anyone to find out. And then this happens, Ashul. Hmm. You've been a very naughty girl. And here we have the rundown of last week's successful mission because our team is awesome. Team awesome. They were, but it was mainly cushy. I mean, well, and pond, mostly, but mainly cushy. Yeah. So let's see who's in here. Do we have a, again, no frigging occultists. This is completely useless. I'm not going to get another festival. Not doing it. Uh -uh. 17,994 gold. Quite pleased with that. Does anyone need stress relief? Well, not after what happened last week. Last week was an absolute massacre for the enemy. I guess we could take a group out for a spin with Bosk. These four on a low level one, I guess. Um, Sacraville still needs to get rid of... Yeah, we crypt on live, so let's just get that done straight away. Hi, bye. Yeah, alright. And maybe these two could do with Flawed Release. They still don't care about that. Possessed by Demons still don't care about that. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I kind of wish that they had more serious quirks. Actually, let's have a look at the group we just sent out, shall we? Uh, which was... Kushi. Um, how are you obsessed? An occultist that is obsessed with sainthood. That does not really make much sense, does it? Uh, enlightened. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you weren't with us. You were with us, though. Paranormania. Obsessed with the paranormal. Maybe we shall get rid of that. You know what? We will. We will get rid of that, would you? There you go. And let's have a look at the rest of these guys. You will not partake in prayer, but you're a highwayman, so I don't really see why you would anyway. You're not allowed to gamble. Eh. Fane. Fane, what are you? You may not meditate. Slow draw. Maybe get rid of the slow draw. Fascinated with corpses. And close space. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Yeah, we will throw Fane in here and get rid of the necromania, maybe? Fascinated with corpses. A vessel that's fascinated with corpses doesn't make much sense, does it? Let's get rid of that. Okay, so that's that. Um, don't think anyone needs to get stuff upgraded. Let's have a look at the Nomad Way. Oh, wow, these things are expensive. But they look so shiny. They look very shiny. This one is so, so very shiny. Sacred score for Vestal. Stress resist. Stress you while camping. Whoa, plus 30% heal skills. That is... Whoa. Alright, so something happened. You might notice a little change here on the screen. There's a little book here. We just got the latest update. Uh, and with that, we got all sorts of goodies alongside a new class. But sadly, since we already were in the week, uh, no new arrivals have arrived. But I'm seriously considering trying to get this thing and seeing as I got a massive amount of crests. I'm just going to upgrade this as far as I possibly Rarities can. Rarities and curios. Sold at a profit, of course. Um, I could get it now, but that would drop me to 744 gold, which won't be enough for me to run a dungeon, so sadly I'll have to miss out on it. Uh, we'll just go to the Embark screen. This is the dungeon I would like to go on before because of the Sun Cloak. Uh, and because we can take our low level group on that, we will take Ashul in the second, Bourneville in the first, Bosk in the third, and Krull in the fourth, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that looks good. Do I actually still have something from last time? Oh, I still have this one, don't I? There's Torch Lovers below. Uh, we still have our Dark Crowns, which we will not be using in this dungeon. Oh, we might actually use them in this dungeon. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, it was savers and torches as well at the same time. Let's uh, actually have another look. We got the dark bracer and the immunity mask. Uh, let's open these as well and let's sort them. 
As you can see, some of the items that didn't have artwork yet now received artwork. So we've got the Raffle Bandana, Sturdy Greaves. Uh, I think the shield over here, this one, the Guardian Shield, has received some nice artwork as well. I would like to possibly go for this one, but stun skill and debuff skill, I'm not complete. It, it would mean that my Vestal would start doing less heals, really, uh, and she's my primary healer in this party, so let's not do that, actually. Uh, we could definitely... I wanted to put this on... Crawl here. So we're gonna drop this one, I'm thinking, and we're gonna take this one, increasing his blight's chance as well as his. Uh, yeah, that would work. Oh, let's just put that in there. Uh, his blight's chance as well as his blight resist. Uh, minus four dodge, that's alright. Not too worried about that. Um, will we take these dark crowns? I'm wondering. I mean, we already have the dark races uh, on two of them. Okay. Um, she would like to. Would I like to keep this one on her? I think I would actually. All right, let's put that in here. Let's change these out. And then you're not going to have anything though. So we're either going to drop this one or the stun amulet. I think we'll drop this one. So Bourneville is now completely decked out for dark level dungeons. I'm still considering taking this one though. Let's let's have a look, a closer look at. Hello, can you? All right, yeah. Let's have a closer look at our Vestal. She does have dazzling light, so she does have the stun. Uh, party heal. Oh, uh, sorry, divine grace. No party heal. I might actually want to drop party heal in there though, instead of. Uh, illumination. Let's do that real quick. So here goes Bosk. That's fine. All right, back in here. So Bosk, we're gonna switch your skill out. We're gonna drop the illumination. We're gonna give you divine comfort. And you again in the fourth, you in the first, a shoot in the third. Let's just go on the dungeon. We'll take our eight food with us. We'll take our. Well, we're not going to take any torches then. We'll take one shovel. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Right click on the hero's image or portrait at any time to bring up the detail. Yeah, we already knew this. But thank you. Let's have a look at the dungeon. Um, it's a rather big one for a small one, it seems. And we need to explore 90% of the room, so we will have some backtracking at the very least. Let's go this way first. Ooh, two spiders. We're surprised! Damn it! That's no fair! Uh, can we maybe, possibly, seven hit points? And we're, oh man, this new here. I'm not too pleased with this, I think. I mean, it looks fancy, though. Uh, we got a little retreat from combat option here. It's no longer on the minimap. That's nice. Uh, let's just try and kill stuff. Executed with impunity. All right, that's one. You can't do an awful lot from there, so move up. Oh, it left a corpse now. Such a terrible assault did not be left unanswered. Ooh, stress Eniston. Oh, that's all right though. Boss, oh, boss can't do anything from over there either. Oh well. Well, with a little luck, Bourneville will be able to not hit him. Okay. What is your blight resist? That's 20. And. Oh, it tells me what skills you have since you used one now. Okay. Uh, that's alright. Let's see about Noxus blasting you. That is pretty terrible. And you're still alive. Another web. Again, I'm cruel, but not any dodges. Nicely done, Cruel. And I'm guessing we're just going to finish it. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Two torches. Wow, okay. Uh, you have to go over there. Well, alright, finally. 
and let's have a quick look at the resistances we got 50 20 50 50 40 40 90 45 so for blight it would be you but for bleed it would be you I'm just gonna do it with you oh there's a map all right that's welcome got an obstruction over here Lots of empty rooms. Oh, loads of obstructions. We're definitely going to skip this room and go this way. Oh, we... Wow, we actually discovered the entire dungeon. Right, alright. I'm, I'm happy with that. Contains loot. So, we'll have a fight in this room over here. Ectoplasms. That's alright. Didn't get surprised that time. Happy with that. Uh, their blight resist is 60 though, so instead I uh, might actually, what's your stun resist? 50. And my stun base is 10. I think I'll instead buff one of my guys. I'll buff you. Slime on Bourneville, 3 damage. That's alright. And you get to maybe stun one of them. The stun resist is... Oh, I, I was reading it wrong, was I? No, I wasn't. Alright, let's just try to... It's 110. Let's just try to stun him. And you can try to kill him. And miss terribly. Horribly. Painfully. Be gone, fiend. Thank you, Shul. Oh, so okay. Again, it leaves a corpse, which means the enemy does not move up. I'm alright with that. One damage. Wow, that is terrible. But he did get blighted. Is he going to be dead though? Um, he's got four hit points. He's going to take four damage. He's going to be dead. Alright. Good. I'm pleased with that. And he's dead as well. And we will have you do a tiny bit of a stressy, I'm thinking. And you get to throw out a party, I'm thinking. Three. Quite pleased with that. Everyone should be back to full health. That they are. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Right. Yeah, go on. Um, we'll have you interact with the Traveler's Tent. Another map. Yeah, I'm fairly sure we don't need another map since we already discovered everything. So we've got a trap coming up here. Let's have a look at the trap percentages. 30. Alright, so it doesn't really matter an awful lot, so instead we're going to have you do it. Oh, nicely done, it, sure. And the contents of the sack are yours. Another 200 gold. Still looking for a lot of gold, so that's quite welcome. Torch level's dropping now. But I'm still carrying two torches. Could do with a little bit more gold. Shh, no, don't shoot me. Just go in. And is this blight or bleed? I'm not sure. Let's have you interact with it. More treasures. Oh, rubies. Oh, very welcome. So we got fight up ahead. Actually, that was silly what I just did. You know, we're just gonna control shift. There we go. The darkness holds much worse than the trickery. And mm. boogeyman. And boogeyman. Yeah, it holds me. Confidence. Ah, now he hits. The enemy crumbles. Good. And we will try to stun you. Hold on a minute. Did they? Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Okay, hold on a second. I'm fairly sure that Bosk's dazzling light previously only hit the front two enemy spots. Yeah, I'm fairly sure about that. So I guess they changed that as well. Let's see about you got a blood resistance of 60, and I can't hit you still with that, but that's alright, I guess. Maybe we'll blind you instead. Yeah, let's try that. That took. And sure you should be able to kill this one. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. 
And now we've got two corpses. Meaning that she can still hit her. And maybe kill her with the bleed. Is that going to be enough? Should be. Yeah, that's going to be enough. And she already went, so that's good as well. We will have you throw out a... Um, battlefield medicine on yourself. Curing that bleed at the same time. And curing yourself a little bit. And you can throw out a divine comfort for one. Alright. And then we got a new round. She's gonna go first. Bleed out. Be dead. Perhaps the turning point. Great success. So empty room. We've got an obstacle in the next hallway. We're not gonna go to the side. There's no need for us to go that way. Oh, one well, should probably interact with this. And I have you interact with it. Poison sap. Oh, that's blight. So I should have done that with our plague doctor crew. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Can take four more damage from that. With misintent. Venom now. Oh hush. My veins are on fire. Yeah, go on, get in there already. So going go to the left. Got to fight up ahead again. That yeah, looks alright. Rent for the old gods. Oh. Bleeding on the shoe as well. Not too happy with that. Uh, still, though, I'm not going to try to cure that. Instead, we're going to do blinding gas on air. And that stun took quite nicely. Become as dust. And you can try to stun it. Nicely done. That increased the torch level again a little bit. And you get to try to kill him. But you fail miserably. Oh, one more. Oh, how often that that happens to me. Can you kill her in one hit? You're going to do bleed and you're going to do 7 to 15. Er, uh, 14, sorry. So you might have a fair chance. Uh, that's probably not. Yeah, that's going to be enough. Yep. Right, good. That's going to be the last thing you'll ever do. And you should try to kill this one. Which you might if you do uh, if it bleeds. Yep. And I'll have you kill him. Oh, again. He's still having trouble hitting stuff. Let's see about healing. Oh, hell, you know, a little bit. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Huh. If I don't kill him now, he's actually gonna act again. Let's just throw this at him. Ha 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 ha. This expedition at least promises success. Tiny little bit of money. Oh, damn, these people talk a lot. Oh, a little bit of food as well. That's nice. Don't really need it, but still, it's nice. Alright, let's head in. And head out. Might actually use that two food on... Oh, hunger event. With all these new additions, they do seem to talk a lot more. Leading them to stop when they're moving through hallways and such. Uh, would this be Blight? Oh, I have no idea. Let's just try it with him. It is Blight. Seriously? You got a Blight resist of 90. You still get Blighted. Uh. Alright. You can try to disarm this again. And fail horribly that time. Mechanical hazards. Possessed by evil intent. Yeah, they do talk a lot more. I'm not too thrilled about that. Complaining about just about everything. Maybe it's because of the low light level, I have no idea. I will light one torch here. More loot in the backpack. More food as well. I'll have you take one as well. Alright, let's move along. Got a fight here. And then one in the room. And then we will be done. 
start by trying to blind her. Yep. And a tiny bit of stress heal there as well. Nice. And you can see about possibly getting him. Obliterated. Very good. And you can uh well stun him. Just keep them from attacking. Who's gonna go first? We're gonna go first. And you cannot attack her now. How many hit points do you These have eight hit points, alright? So you need to destroy the corpses in order for the enemy to move up. Uh, your stun resist is now 45. We're just going to try it again. Why not? Oh, she resisted at that time. But you should be able to finish it as she and so you do. A trifling victory. A little bit of money again. A victory nonetheless. Do I still have a torch? I do have a torch. And now my light level has gone up too much. So instead we're just going to... Actually, I can reduce it by shift clicking. All right, that'll do. Ah, blood letter. Oh, they're surprised. Quite welcome. Who's gonna go first? You're gonna go first. All right, bleed him, or shall we just try to go straight for? Nah, let's go. This one. Nice amount of damage there, and you can follow that up with another 14. Looking good, looking real good. You can throw out a blinding gas for the rear. Double stun. Doing all sorts of good. And you can do a... I think we're just going to do a judgment on him. Oh, nicely finished. We're in a big corpse now. Large corpse, sorry. It's a large corpse, not a big corpse. Oh, that has a lot of hit points as well. 15, okay. Well, that's certainly something to keep into consideration. Are we going to try to stun him again? You know what? We're going to try to just do damage here. Destroy. Oh, that is nice. A little bit of stress heal as well. And you might actually be able to kill him off straight away. Nope, that's not going to do it though. But Krull's still to go. And he'll... Uh, uh, I'm guessing we're going to try blinding him again though. Yeah, that took... He has been stunned. And you can finish the pile of corpse. I, but yeah, whatever. Um, let's have a real quick look at the crit percentages. This one has absolutely no chance of critting, apparently. Or well, 5%, hold on. And this should be 11 then. Yeah, it is. Right, let's try it. Nope, not enough. But he's still alive. So maybe someone else will be able to crit him. We have a 6%, no, nothing, actually I can't, I can't even use this, I can, I can use it on the corpse, but why would I do that? And the barbaric yorp is just silly, so let's just kill him. Tiny bit of a stress heal as well. As victories mount, hey, so completing resistance. a quest, after you've completed the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. Sorry, just click the the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. Wow, that's really... Oh, okay. It doesn't just move to the side. Return to the hamlet. Or continue adventuring. Well, there's still a chest here, so yeah. Mind your own bloody business. You can open that. The contents are yours. Secret. Oh, I want more treasure. Alright, that's that. Paths and roads bring soldiers and supplies. Let them arrive on Harried. And everyone reached level two. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we got Lurker. That's very good, especially since it's uh, a darkness group. We got Rabies. Uh, I'm happy with that. Although an extra minus ten accuracy on a leper. Eh? And then we got obsessed with killing. Right, we're perfectly fine with that. We got fast healer, that's alright. Early riser, you're not going to be using that. Why is this? Oh, it replaced unyielding. Okay, so yeah, now their their positive quirks can be replaced by other 
positive quirks, which in this case is not very positive. Yeah. And then we got bad humorous, which is terrible. We we're going to get rid of that straight away. Quick reflex is nice, and it replaced Warren's Explorer and the runes, which is absolutely terrible. So they actually distinguish now between uh, afflictions and diseases, or qu bad quirks and diseases. I'm not completely sure. Uh, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and will consider leaving a like. Feel free to post any comments in the section down below. And I hope to see you again next time. In the darkest dungeon.